even appear until after the fade to black. So advertising is not just for product awareness anymore. It's world building. You already know, yeah, it's consumerism, fantasy production, and so on. But what's more interesting is what advertising has turned to now, which is the production of a world apparently without capitalism. No one's working. No Bigger one's stressed, and everyone has just Bigger time to hang out and work on their personal projects and give each other hugs. Now ads used to sell products. Tobacco is poisonous. Lucky Strikes is toasted. Back in the good old days, right? <laughs> now we are evolved, and ads now sell products they can't actually sell. Time with your family, uh, love, the freedom to work on projects you've never had time for, freedom from anxiety freedom from conformity, the acceptance of others, none of which is actually available for purchase, especially because, goes without saying, the reason you wouldn't have time for your family in the first place, the reason that most people are uh, alienated, disconnected, stuck, is because there's very little freedom in most work. Except for the very lucky, the audience of these ads live most of their lives in their employer's space, on their employer's You're schedule, with a week or two boss. per year, maybe, You're to live like this. So, advertising has evolved from convincing You're you that products boss. are worth buying, You're to using products as these magical pearls to another world, creating the images of emancipation from the dreary slog of everyday life. The idea of the world outside of capitalism is packaged up as its own commodity. So if I have this right, McDonald's and communism are selling the same product. The end of alienation. Click up, click up here. I did a whole video on it. So I am guessing you are not the target for, for that ad. But then there's this, which is the new stage of evolution. And they're not all that different. They're also images of liberation from the now where we don't have individual agency or the places where we don't have individual agency. So people or the images of people are these little screen-sized escape portals to positive thinking and success and freedom from labor relations but at bottom it's just producing the same imaginary outside of the problems that are unfixable in this reality it's heaven on earth and oh wait wait wait, wait. you cannot forget this one this is this is great